Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Renowned Explorers International Society, a little indie roguelike type game from Abbey Games, the same people who made Reus. And I got this game a little while ago, and like many games I've sort of just picked up because I think they look interesting, I also just had to show this off on the channel because I think it's a really great game and I want to just make sure people know about it because, hey, it's a great game. So let's start. The general idea here is that uh, adventure mode will play in, we'll play in classic normal difficulty. Uh, I should warn you ahead of time. I've actually never beat this game, so let's see here. So first of all, we start off by picking a captain. Let's see. Do we want Walker, Anusen, Anusen, Philippe, Harry? We have Victor. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see. 50 gold from encounters. That sounds pretty good. Uh, we'll also go with Philippe and... Or Felipe. Or just Philippe. And Kwame. Amenquashia. Probably mangled his last name. He is from... Where, where are you from, Kwame? Let's see. I don't recognize the flag. I'm terrible at flags. Uh... Oh, there you go. He's from present-day Algeria. Served in the Foreign Legion. Nice. Ah, Ghana. And, of course, France. Alright, so, uh, just a quick explanation of what's going on here. You have, first of all, you have these different attitudes here, which we'll explain more when we actually get into the game. But, uh, you have captains, and any character can become a captain eventually. You're just, like, looking at her, as you can see, playing with Agatha there. If we play with her and complete four expeditions, with her as like a regular crew member, she can be a captain. And captains get a fancy little perk, and I believe they also get a, like a slight stat boost to make them slightly stronger than if they're just a crew member. And as you can see here, uh, Victor is a balanced fighter with high armor and no real weaknesses. He can quickly turn an aggressive fight friendly. He is a supportive addition to any aggressive or friendly crew. And he's recommended to go friendly or aggressive, and in fact, it, it suggests uh, Felipe and Kwame. And I've played this particular group before, and they're pretty good together. He's aggressive or friendly. He's a balanced scientist. Also, that's a thing, as you can see. Scientists, they're good at research type stuff. You have scouts, they find extra gold and so forth. Uh, you have fighters, who, uh, as you can probably imagine, are fighters. And speakers, who are good at sort of speech challenges, and apparently they get extra status as well for completing challenges. Anyway, so we're still looking at Felipe, right? So he is... Can lower targets defenses. He's also good in aggressive or friendly crews. And yeah, Kwame and Victor. And again, so the game is nice enough to give you some suggestions on like how to pair people, but you can mix and match anyone really, and you can probably make anything work. Just, you know, some will be harder than others. And he can heal an ally's spirit with a great cheer. He does well in most crews, but does best in a friendly crew. Try to team up with someone with good armor. Okay, so he lacks an attack and armor, but he's really good at speech and speech defense. And you're probably wondering what some of that is. We'll explain that momentarily. Oh, also, he's a diplomat, a level 2 diplomat. Well, Philippe is a level 1 engineer and rogue, and Victor is a level 2 tactician. We can also get some ID, uh, details on their initial stats and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not too worried about that, so let's immediately jump on in, shall we? Yes! Look at that. Look at that. Awesome crew all around. Alright. Uh, yes. So, yes. Renowned Explorers, some stuff. I, I'll try to explain most of the stuff in the tutorial. Yes, but here's the big thing to remember. Reman uh, Renowned Explorers is all about discovering treasures and stories, but also strategies and systems. I will learn the hard way. Alright, this is it. You just got your Renowned Explorers International Society membership. Victor wants to make a big entrance and goes for an elusive treasure, the Viking ship. Rumors are that a boat belonging to a famous explorer, or THE famous explorer, Leif Erikson, is somewhere on this forgotten island. Also, I'm going to lower my volume a little bit. There we are. A time for adventure. Alright, so that's where we have to go. But we also can go here. This is how we have seven supplies. We can pick up more sometimes. Uh, this is Resolve. Uh, you lose resolve in certain instances, and you, if you run out, then that's game over. Important thing to remember there. You want to be very careful with resolve. Supply, if you run out of supply, you can sort of keep exploring. It's sort of like a soft limit on how much you can explore. 
because once you run out, you start taking like negative uh, malices to your various crew members and stuff for every like uh, half you go on once you run out of supply. But we also, um, what, where do we want to go? Uh, we could go here. There might be an encounter, which serves like a combat encounter, but it doesn't have to be combat, and I'll sh sort of show that off in a second. We can find research here, but I think we want to do a, an encounter first. Those are, these are also the best ways to level up. You encountered two rude gentlemen. Hey, look at these wimps. I bet we could wipe them out easily. They're not even worth fighting. These devious gentlemen are not leaving you alone. Ah, so they're devious. That's a good hint, by the way, on how to handle them. All right. So, ah, but we do get a bonus if we complete this encounter devious. But as you can see, we can be friendly to them, we can be devious to them, or we could be aggressive towards them. And as you can see here, there's sort of like a, a rock, paper, scissors type thing where uh, it, friendly is really strong against devious, devious is strong against aggressive, and aggressive is good against friendly. Which, I guess, makes a certain amount of sense, doesn't it? Also, this, uh, these little squares or hexes right here, uh, these are uh, quote unquote tactically advantageous spots, and you get sort of like uh, sort of like a health regen bonus if you're standing in one of those. But you know, this is a pretty easy starting encounter. Who's our guy with the strongest speech? Um, you are. So let's start with a devious attack. We'll try to enrage him, and this will make the guy angry. Right. Here's his like sort of health uh, spirit which sort of is like a combination of health, morale type deal. And this is the mood, this little bar under it. Green is if you're in a positive mood, and red is if you're in a negative mood. And you can get all kinds of little stat effects going with that. Uh, we could finish him off, but let's make this guy angry. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> he's a frog, apparently. Yes, that'll make him very angry. And uh, you can also click on enemies to get an idea of their stats and stuff. As we can see here, because he's enraged, he gets minus 25 armor. He's also just a common villager who will mimic my behavior. So I guess that means if we were aggressive, they'd become aggressive, and if we were friendly, they'd become friendly, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's try to sadden this guy. We'll make him cry. Oh, he failed! You're a failure, Felipe. How dare you? I probably should have just finished off one of them. Oh, but he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled as well. These guys are not very good. Oh, he sorted us. Whatever that means. Apparently, he doesn't like us very much. We'll make you angry as well. Everyone will be angry. Yes, you're, you're too slow. You're, you're some kind of snail type thing. Oh, also, I suppose... Um, another thing is, the as you can sort of see here, uh, the types of moves you use in an encounter sort of affects the like mood of the entire battle. And right now it's tense, because we're both devious to each other. And as you can see here, friendly abilities get plus 25% power. And uh, if we do three friendly abilities, they'll change our mood to being friendly. And then that would give us the friendly type bonuses. But we're not too worried about that right now. We're going to... Uh, also, for defeating an enemy, it uh, sort of doubles whatever you'd get. So we'd get one friendly uh, tick if uh, we just did damage. But so we're we're saying he he's a trumpet or something. As you can see, that gives two uh, friendly because we beat him using that move. We are ultimately going for devious because we want that extra encounter token. Also, we want to be careful. Uh, when your guy, like, loses health, that takes away a resolve. You'll come back in the next in the next round, as it were, because your health regenerates at the end of each of these. Oh, uh, we're calling him a clown. That must hurt. So we won Devious, and that gives us a bonus to Felipe here, who gets five grit and plus two speech power for the rest of this expedition, because we solved it deviously. Aha! Ha! You gave them a dose of their own medicine. That makes two suckers that will have nightmares of Felipe's destructive words. The crew proceeds with the expedition. Ah, as you can see right there, we could get some supplies. Now, I don't know if I want to go pick those up right away. I think we'll sort of circle around towards them. On your way to finding the Viking longboat, the crew comes across a runestone. It's not a particularly impressive or well-preserved one, but it's still worth studying. We get two study tokens. 
As you can see here, these give four to, res uh, four to six research each. Uh, these give 18 to 25 gold, 10 to 15 status, and 10 to 10 renown, so only 10. And collect tokens give 10 to 15 gold. And you sort of get all these at the end of the expedition, so you don't get them right away. You have to sort of wait things out. Ah, sometimes you're just lucky. Felipe, get, uh, Felipe was getting pretty bored as Victor was planning the next step. He started picking up pebbles to skim on a lake. By chance, Felipe's fifth pebble was actually an old Viking coin. A small sack of coins was lying nearby. That's convenient. Ah, now, as you can see, there's nothing here, but... In this case, it was the hidden hoard for this particular expedition. And we can choose gold, or a discovery, or a secret. Now, I usually choose secret, but as you can see, um, this is gold, so that means it's going to focus more on giving us gold. Discovery will focus more on giving us research, and Secret will focus more on giving us uh, status. And these are all used to sort of like purchase things in between expeditions. Let's go for Discovery this time, I think. So it gives us 25 to 30 gold and 20 to 30 research, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, so what we're going to do now is circle around here. Now there could be a treasure and an encounter here, and you want to get treasure. Let's see. Note scribbled on a wooden slab. Meaning seems to be very cryptic. All right. Oh, while we're investigating it, a group of mean locals. Well, of course we're going to defend ourselves. What are you doing on our island? They're annoying, but their local knowledge might be useful. So that means we're probably going to want to try being friendly towards them. Maybe. Well, we do get an extra bonus for being uh, devious. And notably, there isn't anything saying, like, there's, there's no particular thing saying that we'll change how the encounter goes if we're any particular style. So, we'll go devious, because in general, if you can, it's usually a good idea to try getting that extra bonus. Because you do want those bonuses. Ah, yes, you smell like moldy cheese. Oh. Right, let's make this guy sad. I should actually be paying more attention to the bonuses here. Because I think, uh, yeah, being sad decreases his speech power, so he'll actually do less damage to us. But since we're going to beat him anyway... Aha, you're a, an, an annoying snail. Also, as you can see, uh, Kwame there is in a uh, tactical square thing. Alright. So, uh, we'll sadden this guy and make him leave. Yes, you are a clown, sir. He's saddened beyond words and just wants to be left alone. I kind of feel bad for him. Oh, you are a toad, sir. Yes. And what does Kwame have to say? Yes, he's just a snail. Just a snail. He's too enraged, so he runs off to go calm down. He broke their minds. And this time, Kwame got the bonus of five grit. And grit, sort of like your ability to avoid things. Also, we leveled up. You see, once they figure you're simply better, they respect you and stop being so annoying. Ahem, sorry we were such tools just now. Good thing that you knock some sense into us. We're just very protective of our puffins. Okay, that's nice of them. Alright. Let's see, what do we want? A bracelet? A Viking brooch? A gemstone? Or an amulet? I'm not sure which one of these I've picked up before. I might have got all of them. I'm gonna go for the gemstone this time. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Um... Ooh. I didn't set this up very well. Okay, so we'll go this way, this way, and then this way. But first, let's level up. So, now, usually what I like to do is sort of focus them all on one thing. But I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe diversifying their traits is, might be better. Because now he's got a quick thinker ability, which will be useful for certain perks. Now, for Felipe, he, we either have to make him an engineer or a better rogue. I think we want him to be a better engineer. Also, you can see that sort of affects the abilities. Get more grit here. Or, more speech defense. And then again, maybe more grit is better. Yeah, we'll go with more grit. Alright, so you're a more dashing rogue than you were before. Now, we already have a diplomat, so I'm not going to worry about... We're going to just work on making Victor the best damn tactician he can be. Oh, also, I should probably note, we do have equipment here, which we'll probably want to try upgrading if we can. Alrighty then. Ooh, mushrooms. Hasty. 
All right, let's get some supplies. All right, how many did we get? Ah, three supplies, excellent. All right, so there's a wits challenge here. I probably should have listened to see what would, okay. Ooh, none of us are actually very good at this. Um, okay, so we'll offend the locals if we fail. But if we succeed, we'll get two campaign tokens and a bonus campaign token. So onto the spinning wheel. Yes! Ha ha! Success! We are the greatest. Locals are very impressed by Kwame. Whoa, wow, you're so cool. We have to tell everyone. These people are saved from ignorance by her majestic self. <laughs> yes. Let's see, a tactician, beguiler, or quick thinker may be useful. All right, let's give that one a go. All right, an open theater. Oh no, none of us are, oh wait, Kwame can do it. All right, come on, Kwame. No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. I always get so stressed out on those. <laughs> Kwame seems to be an accomplished actor. No lines were fumbled, and the part of Viking chieftain is portrayed with conviction. It also gives Kwame a boost to speech for this expedition. Oh, nice. Plus five speech. Crew leaves behind a bedazzled crowd who are now clamoring for your autographs. Good job, Kwame. Um, you know what? I don't mind taking a couple of hits. Let's, uh... Let's see. Local merchant who wants to trade. Negotiate for a better deal. Good old Kwame. No, no, no. Yes! Ha ha! Good job, Kwame. You strike a hard bargain, but you got yourself a deal. You're quite a well-spoken traveler. I don't know what I was going for there. You gain some profits and status. Yeah! Oh, but we're out of supplies. So let's see. Victor is weakened, so I lose attack power. I lose 40 attack power. Or 40% attack power. 40 or 40%? Yeah, 40%. You know what? Let's go for it. Ooh, there's an X marks the spot. What do you think you're doing? That's not how you activate precious treasure. You're doing it all wrong. Ooh, she's gonna teach us something. Excavation, huh? Um. 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 You know what? I'll give it to Victor. I don't know if that's the greatest idea. I almost feel Felipe might have been better, but eh. And we're out of supplies. Ah, Kwame loses grit. Damn. Oh well. We'll go for it. I no pain, no gain. Ooh, we, we have chances to win stuff. Yeah, Sunstone. Gives us 50 renown and two insight, which I'll explain that once we finish this expedition. So we get plus one study whenever a quick thinker succeeds on the adventure wheel. And plus 10 collect. Yeah. Not many can claim to find something like this in such a strange place. All right. All right, what's the penalty now? Ah, Felipe has become frustrated and loses speech defense. All right, time for another encounter. Ah, aggressive men. Ah, but because Victor is a tactician, we get the tactically prepared bonus. Aha, success. All right, so we get the bonus this time if we play aggressively. How unfortunate that Victor has been Tactically damaged a little bit. Let's see. Peace treaty. What, what does this one do? Uh, positive. It's a debuff. It gives minus 20% attack. That could be useful. But let's go for this. Actually, it occurs to me strategically, I probably should have used Enrage first. Oh well. Amnesia shot. Doesn't quite finish the job. We'll make this guy cry. Haha, <laughs> you're a clown. Alright. We want to be careful now, because we don't want to accidentally change the mood of the battle at this point. Uh, yeah, we'll give him a smack on the head. Hi ya indeed. Success. Alrighty then. Also, you probably noticed that, uh, or maybe you did is that this went down. Whenever you use like an opposite mood ability, the uh, ticking up towards changing the mood goes back down. So, uh, let's see here. 
Um, can I finish? No, that won't finish him. Let's be aggressive. Her slice. Oh, very surgical. All right. Let's be smart about this one. Okay, so. Oh wow, that'll just finish him in one hot. One hot, one shot. Oh, taunted and ruffled. Nice. We have dominated them. And Kwame got the bonus for aggressive. Plus five armor and plus two attack power. Nice. All right. Yes, yes, that's grand. All right, so Kwame loses some more speech defense. All right, let's wrap this expedition up. I mean, you have to sort of balance it. Like, is it worth taking all these penalties at times? It really depends on how strong you feel you are in a particular expedition. And usually in the first expedition, you can get away with this stuff. So let's move onwards. Ah, we found the Va uh, Vaughn boat? The Viking boat. Huzzah. Oh no! The crew is stopped by a familiar face. The French explorer Rivalu. Number one in the most promising explorer's rankings. He laughs. Thank you, amateur. How very lucky you are to find this fine Viking boat just after me. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need this treasure to affirm my number one position. Your help will not be forgotten. Well, maybe. Well, this is my treasure, dash it all. Also, you're cheating. You get a, you get to have, like, three assistants. I only get two. That's cheating, sir. It seems my explanation wasn't clear enough. Maybe my strong friend Tommy can explain the situation better. While I take the Trevessel, of course. Wait a minute. Before Victor can stop you, his crew fighter Tommy steps forward. Nuh-uh, little explorers. I need to explain you ass something. He's not letting you pass. I feel like I'm not trying quite as hard to do voices as I sometimes do. Alright. So, this is where, depending on your choices, you sort of get different bonuses. And you generally want the one that's greenish looking. Um, can't tell if that's actually green, but this is bad. Aggressive is, since Tommy is aggressive, he'll be most impressed if we are ourselves are aggressive. But, do we want to be aggressive? That is the question. And we could instantly finish him off with a devious enrage. Oh ho. Alright, so we get plus 25 grit. That's good. So I think... I think what we want to do here is try taking out as many of these mooks as possible. Get rid of the mooks and make our lives that much easier. Uh, move in, shall we? Alrighty then. Okay. Uh, Victor can't quite finish the job, unfortunately. But, um... Well, we might. We might get a critical hit. We'll see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so that means there's less people who can hurt us. Excellent. Uh-oh, here comes Tommy. Ha! You missed. Ooh, he did not miss, though. Oh no, Kwame! You left him completely undefended. Ooh. Well, that's not very nice. Alright, let's get in here. Um, if I move you over there, can you move in? Good. That's what I like to see. Alright. So, Felipe. No. Um, actually, we probably want to heal, don't we? This will also make us happier. Oh, wait. Don't we have a group heal somewhere? Oh. That was... That was useless. You fool. You foolish fool. Okay, we hurt his feelings. Um, no, that won't help us. Yes, make him more confident. Yes. Uh, confident gives us attack power. Excellent. All right. Kind of bunged that one up. Ooh. Oh dear. Yeah, we, we we probably screwed this one up. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. 
Okay. We've got to get the heck out of here. Okay. Um. You heal Kwame. Kwame, you heal Felipe. And Felipe, you scalpel him to death. Oh, I really messed this one up. Ooh! Please tell me these guys can't get through. No! Ah, oh, hell. Oh, thank goodness. Swing and a miss! Okay. We are still screwed. Probably. Um... Probably a better idea to try killing some more <laughs> people. Well, I guess we are killing him. So we might as well. Alright. Uh, take him out of the equation. Now we do want to be a... Oh. Alright, now we are... We're hostile. But we still have seven points in Devious compared to only five there, so... Alright. Now we want to make sure that Felipe can survive. Hopefully. Oh, he's running! Ow! That wasn't very nice. Well, that wasn't very nice either. A jerk. Alright, uh, we could probably go to try just finishing off old Tommy here. Old Tommy Gun. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, you can also get hints about enemies, if you're paying attention to that. Um... We could do that, but... I think I'd rather just attack him. And this gives him minus 20 attack, so that could be useful. Eh, we'll just do that. Oh, nice! Critical hit! Alrighty then. Excellent, excellent. Um... Yeah, why not? There we go. Alright, Tommy. Come on. There you go. There you go, big guy. Okay, I don't really want you getting too close. Alright. Make him angry. Oh-ho-ho! And finish the job. And there you go. Yes! I and mean, that doesn't really help us too much now, but it's there. Oh, I should mention, these bonuses do stack, as you can see. Tommy is pretty impressed. You're strong, pretty impressive. But now I have to go. You deserve this treasure map for your victory. Uh, bye. And he leaves us. And Rivalu has already got away off the ship. Damn. So we get two campaign, and all of our attack is permanently increased by one for the rest of this whole a particular game. Excellent. Alright, take a look, everyone. Uh, let's see. Another Viking site nearby. Alright, research the area. Yes! We gained the Leprechaun! That's a new one for me. Aha! 50... Okay. 20 to 25 status from secrets. And we also get one secret. Nice. Alright, back to London. Ah, so our mood for this one was devious. So we're, we have a reputation for being devious. All right, let's gain all our stuff. All right, not bad, not bad. Ooh, this is actually one of my stronger starting missions. I like. Aha! Excellent. And in order to win the game, we have to be, we have to have more renown than this guy. Oh, Matthew Rivelu. We actually occasionally run into at least some of these guys. I've actually only run into Virginia here, but I assume you can run into some of these guys as well. It's pretty cool. Ah, our reputation is a crooked capitalist. Exciting stuff. Alright, so we're back. Give us our membership. 
you get our honorary membership, which technically counts as a treasure, increases our supply capacity for the next go. All right, and now this is sort of like the prepare, uh, yeah, preparation sort of phase between expeditions. As you can see, we've completed one, we have four left, and we can go to our entourage, and these guys sort of like give bonuses, like you get plus one to free uh, status from encounter for every journalist you have. Uh, with a trader, you get plus one to free gold from each encounter token. Scientists add plus zero to one research for each study. Lobbyists add one to free status for campaign tokens. And merchants add one to free gold from black tokens. So these are pretty useful. We're not going to pick any up just yet, but we will want to before we move on to the next phase. Uh, and then you have the specialists who, like uh, as you can see here, plus one campaign if you resolve an encounter deviously or extra study if you solve it aggressively. And we can upgrade it and then get other abilities and stuff. We won't really go for any of these right now. Uh, this blinky thing is our research. Uh, research, please. Let's go back. Research. So these research points, which we get, we actually didn't get that many for this particular run, which is kind of sad. And we can go for, like, observation or history, and then later on we can unlock these. Uh, I usually like to go for observation because you only need to unlock two to increase our supplies capacity and I generally find that research is pretty cool. And also when you start the project, you can get a crew member who gets a naturalist, engineer, or archaeologist per. That's pretty good. And we don't have a naturalist, so maybe we want to get an, a naturalist. Usually I try to just like specialize and stack up what I already have, but maybe for this one we'll try picking up a naturalist and see how that works out for us. Um, Kwame, oh, you have two, you have two, you have two. Um, I think naturalist would probably go best with Felipe, though, because he's a scientist. So you become a naturalist. Uh, chemical f or classical physics, why not? All right, now let's see here. All right, so that gives us plus one study when a naturalist, engineer, or archaeologist succeeds on the adventure wheel. And since so that pretty much means every time Victor or Felipe succeeds, we'll get an extra study, which is good, because study is how you get more research. And we want our supply capacity to go up, because the more supplies, just the less trouble we'll end up running into. And uh, this adds a free student. This adds plus one study when doing a study job. That's pretty useful. And plus two study when you enter a challenge node of your choice for the first time. All right, so that's all pretty good, and when we finish this, we'll get plus 33% renown from gold status or research. So that's also useful. And the last thing we want to look at, well, we have items. You can buy stuff from the item shop. You have, like, trinkets. This adds an engineer trait. Uh, compass adds survivalist. Could be useful. Uh, upgraded equipment to give us better stats. I'm kind of tempted to go for this. Survivalist. Now, who... I'm, now, I think Survivalist would probably go best with Victor, maybe? I'm not sure. I feel it might be. Uh, we do have a bit of gold, so let's... let's. I like picking these up. Let's just do. Uh, let's spend the rest of our money upgrading stuff. Ah, Machete. It also gives us the Athlete perk, which improve, uh, improves stamina. Almost makes me think I should switch these out now. There we are. I don't know if this is really all that useful or not. Because we could just be buying better equipment. Let's see, speech and attack. Uh, you have gloves, let's sell your gloves and we'll buy you the good gloves. Alright, just as an example. And these are where we can spend our in insight in order to unlock like more research and stuff. But we'll save that for now. Uh, we can see our renown over here. Currently, our attitude is devious. This will change. And then we can pick more expeditions. But I think I'm going to leave that episode, or this episode here for now. Uh, so, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more of this, like, maybe make this, like, a semi-regular series. Because I kind of want to do more roguelikes and stuff like this on the channel. I don't know if you want to see them as a regular series or just sort of, like, little one-offs just to give a taste of sort of stuff going on here, but let me know in the comments what you think, and I will see you all in the next video.